Live entertainment, food, competition contests, and cattle shows, whether you're a kid or a kid at heart, it's the ultimate smorgasbord of summer fun. For over 60 years, the Worcester County Fair has been a dazzling delight for all lucky enough to be there. It is sure to be a weekend full of wholesome fun and cherished traditions that offers something for everyone. And here to discuss more is Brianna Dix, advertising and destination marketing specialist, along with Paisley Campbell, a student and local 4-H member. Thank you both for being here this Thank afternoon. You. Who's our third guest? Well, I, I, that's what I was just going to ask Paisley. Who do you got here? Emma. Emma. She is a mini Rex rabbit. And you take care of Emma? Mm-hmm. So what's that like? Fun. It's fun. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Is, okay. It, is it a lot of work? Not really. No? no. Well, I mean, it, I just got to feed her and water her and give her hay. And, and love her. Yes. And yeah. love her. That's the tough part, right? <laughs> so for those who may not know, which is hard to imagine, tell us about the Worcester County Fair. Yes. Yep. This year, brand new, the Worcester County Recreation and Parks Department has taken over this event under new leadership. Uh, so the event's going to be taking place August 9th through 11th at John Walter Smith Park in Snow Hill, Maryland. Yeah. So what, what drives people to the fair year after year, do you think? Well, there's a lot happening, <laughs> um, but being a family-friendly event, completely for free. There's going to be live entertainment. We're um, expecting a big headliner. The Jimmy Charles Band is oh. going to be playing Friday evening, kicking uh, the event off, as well as some uh, other bands, including Pramila Project, um, Fab 234, the Folk Villains, and the Homeschool Dropouts. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, lots of entertainment. Wow. Um, on top yeah. of that, uh, food vendors, uh, local breweries, and distilleries will also be there. Of course, all the kids' activities too. Yeah. So Paisley, do you have other animals that you take care of? I have goats yeah. and p a pig. And a pig, <laughs> okay. That's very sad. Very yes. sad. A very sad pig. Sad pig. You sad. Have a sad, oh, pig. sad. Why is yes. the pig sad? Because her sister has Okay, oh, right. we'll leave it at that. Right. <laughs> do, you, do you show your animals? Yes. Yeah. I've, I've, sh I've, I've shown her before. Okay. Once. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how's she do? Good. Good, yeah. Since I was like the only person, I won. See oh, there? Oh, okay. All you have to do is get in there and get it done, right? <laughs> you are the best. What's going on this year that we maybe we haven't seen before? Yeah, yeah. Our livestock, the animal portion, is filling up pretty fast. So we're really trying to invite all the families that if you have those animals to go ahead and get them entered in. The deadline is coming up on the 22nd. Okay. So we still have a couple of days to um, apply and put those applications in for any 4-H entries with your crafts, vegetables, um, collections and of right. course all your livestock animals too. There's also going to be a horse show happening on Sunday, a petting zoo. So when it comes to the educational component, lots of demonstrations as well with the 4-H extension office. And where does the fair take place? Yep, John Walter Smith Park in Snow Hill, Maryland. Oh, okay. Yep, so right outside the rec center in the health department, right off of Route 113, really central in the county. Um, so kind of between Snow Hill um, and Pocomoke and Berlin. Yeah. Right okay. there. Paisley, you going to show another animal this year? I'm showing a pig and... Is it a sad pig? Yes. I just thought I'd check. I, I only have one pig. Oh, okay. So one, one, one sad pig. It's the, it's the one sad pig. Mm -hmm. What's the pig's name? Uh, Petunia. Petunia. Petunia the sad Petunia, pig. Petunia the sad pig. <laughs> well, maybe she'll see all the people at the fair and be happy again. Mm -hmm. That's the goal. And yeah. win, right? And maybe we'll win. And then it'll be a happy pig. And saying. then we'll have <laughs> help, help we'll be Petunia happy by going to the Worcester <laughs> County Fair. Yes, yep, mm -hmm. so it, it's coming up really. Um, the best way to get information is WorcesterCountyFair.org. You'll be yep. able to see the full schedule because I know I'm probably missing some things. Right. No. Right. Okay. <laughs> and get your applications in by Monday. Yes, yep, gotcha. the okay. 22nd. All right, well, thank you so much for coming in. Brenna, Paisley, Emma. Emma. <laughs> and, and Emma. And good luck. Thanks.